See how this comes out, folks, as really this is quite a unique pick of heroes here from Na'Vi Jr. Very exciting. Got the juice. Carry Pudge. Wowee. Along with a Brood offlane. Even though that we had doubts that Brood would be good here, they still pick it anyway. So let's see if Na'Vi Jr. can prove us wrong here and have themselves a fantastic Broodmother game as game one gets underway. OG versus Na'Vi Jr. Exciting stuff. An early smoke from the Navi Jr. with the Pudge and CM being super strong low one. Where OG may do the the the, the smoke day basically, but the, the the late smoke from OG. Maybe Seb is holding one. Like around yeah, 40, 35 second mark, they smoke themselves and, and, and try to try to get a first blood. Will Navi okay. Jr. see it coming? This is what they do almost every game on OG. Going around here, having themselves the high ground. The smoke will break. Mado taking the lead. Stormhammer ready, but they actually won't go on anyone. Navi Jr. will not give them the chance. Got the juice ready with a hook. Won't get anyone there, so use it surprisingly a little bit too scared because keep in mind once you hit the hook on the rune it does get you you get the, the mana back i want apologies i want to apologize in advance milan because i will be pronouncing uh hook a bit weird <laughs> i get i get a lot of atting uh for my uh my hook words I want to keep attention on this bottom lane. How will PMA do here with his uh, blue mother? Yeah, that, that's a question that I have in my head too. I mean, I, I don't know if you can go onto anyone here because Seb leveling the, the blinding light, which is going to be very nice to stop the, the diving underneath this tier 1 tower if they so choose with the brood. I think level two, he will get the mischance, the whatever it's called. And then Silken Bola? He can Silken Bola, but Silken Bola, like Sven, basically has zero threat. And it's actually a really good nuke. Like it, it slows and it also does a lot of damage. So with that, they might get a get a kill, surprising kill on this bottom lane. Mm. Yeah, we did indeed have ourselves this Primal Beast on the mid lane. How, how is the matchup versus Pangalea here? Because, of course, BZM on the Pango, he can escape here using the Swashbuckle. I mean, even with the reduced range that they uh, they nerfed the Swashbuckle, he can still escape the grasp of the uh, Trample here, right? How, how is the lane? Ooh, hook? Ari? Hook. Does he have anything Ari? to escape? No. Oh, got the juice. He's going to hold his ground. Did they get the kill, but in return, the Celestial Hammer finds the Pudge, so it's a support there for the carry. Still a first blood for the side of Navi Jr. and Crystal Maiden will use the gold, probably for many, many Mangos and Tangos, just to keep fighting this lane. I think Primal, to answer your question, Primal and Pango is kind of 55 to 45 in Primal favor lane. Mm -hmm. And then it all comes to the runes. So far, Nico is doing pretty well. Yeah, utilizes the onslaught there just to make sure that this creep wave can be pushed into the tower. But BZM is actually doing a very nice job here with blocking this creep wave from doing so, so the creep wave can stay on his side. Thought they're gonna go for a kill here onto Riddy's. As the hook bringing Ari into the tier one tower, but I think got the juice wanted to save the crystal maiden there with the hook, right? Oh yeah, at least wanted to help him in any way possible. Another kill on top, but still lanes are going pretty okay. There's gonna be a frostbite onto this whisper. There is. He has oh, Mr. 
he hits that, there was no hammer ready. I mean, there was avalanche level this. two, but alright. I absolutely hate brood mother webs. They kind of why? I, I it just it just makes my head hurt a little bit just seeing them place on the lane. It's a very very different thing that I'm used to be seeing. And Nico, twenty one and nine versus sixteen and six. That's that's pretty much fifty five to forty five. Yeah, that's pretty all right. Tomato's been able to get some CS lately. I mean, he was at the bottom at the moment with 10. So, this brood actually giving Sven a little bit of a hard time here on the lane, obtaining CS. But not to worry for Sven, because he can rotate to the jungle with his Great Cleave. That's usually what goes around comes around. As meanwhile, uh-oh, this Porge carry in trouble. Got the juice. We'll just be able to get away. Yeah, the Stormbreaker and Tiny combo to be feared here on this top lane. Avalanche and Celestial Hammer, along with that Starbreaker there too, is very dangerous to go up against, especially if you're a Crystal Maiden. It's level 2 on that now. As... We may start to see some rotations soon here. I wonder if Riddy's will leave got the juice, because I feel like if this Pudge is left on his own, then there's a possibility of him dying here. I mean, there's a pull by Riddy's. Try and bring the creeps towards this T1 tower. I agree. The moment he leaves, this Pudge will get dull. But usually... Every pause five checks the six minute rune. So we should yeah. expect him to leave soon and Pudge probably just to go and play yeah, really defensive. Yeah, really both Maiden good. and Tiny, but Tiny will be late. So with Pango being in base, should mean Primal gets a six minute rune. We got the bounty rune here too. The rune will actually spawn bottom here. Days protecting that. Niku will get himself a regen rune. And Pudge is okay here at the moment because of the late rotation from R8. That should help. But they want to go for a kill here on Pudge. Got the juice. We'll avoid the Starbreaker. But in comes Ari with the Avalanche and Toss ready. Still going to save it for some time. Tosses back the Pudge. Got the juice in some trouble. There's the Blood Grenade along with the Avalanche there too. The hook comes out in return. It will not be enough to take down Ari before he falls. And a killing spree for Whisper. Three kills for this downbreaker on the top lane. As good as it gets for the early game. But no. Broodmother, level 5. Closing onto level 6. Just a couple of creep ways. That's when the real deal starts on the bottom lane. It may look like Sven is doing good here as well with quite a bit of CS. Oh, some action actually happening on the top lane. Can't ignore this. In comes Niku there with a big onslaught charge again. Grabs the pulverize. It will be a kill for him. Takes down that killing spree. I was just going to say, even though you see a lot of CS here on the Sven, don't make that let you think that he uh, he's, he's doing well in the net worth because I think those are the small creeps that he's killing at the moment. And Pudge has actually got 400 gold more than the Sven. At the moment. Being able to acquire the power treads here too. PMA really applying the pressure on the brood. And we're about to get ourselves level 6 very soon. Not actually leveling insatiable hunger here. I mean he is the uh, the brood player. Meanwhile though. Niku going to charge straight out of there. Was tossed away there by Ari. Ari? All the way back to the tier 1. The pulverize comes out there though in return. Along with the trample as well. Will it be enough to take down the tiny? Yes, it will. Though, bashed up to the high ground here, Niku. Oh, able to avoid the rolling thunder with Seb actually using the, the blinding light there. But they will get the kill nonetheless with the swashbuckle. They get the Very big kill, kill on for the pango. And he's going to get AD rune too. Trying to dive the days. Not going to get him, but this pango... 
really a dangerous hero to give these early kills to. Yes, you get Ari, but you trade yourself. Ooh, oh, Solar Guardian. Go the Brood caught up there. Oh, decimated there by the chain stuns. Ready with the God Strength. Lovely rotation in there from Ari. Setting up, ready with the Avalanche and Toss as they send in with the Solar Guardian to that Starbreaker. So they get the kill. Oh, you see oh, someone? Look oh, at the with, with, with Twin Gate, Twin Gate. Oh, nice hook. But an Avalanche into two. It could mean a disaster here. Got the juice falling very low. Going to use the Dismember there, but will fall first. They do indeed get the, the Dawnbreaker there in return. And Nico is going to attempt to heal up Ari. He doesn't have himself a TP, so they'll just find the kill. There we go. Double kill there for Niku. But got the juice is not having a fun time here on the Pudge Milan. They knew everything. Oh, nice hotkeys. I like them. <laughs> <laughs> so they knew everything on the side of Navi Jr. and still decide to take the engagement. They take two kills, but they lose. Got the juice. A little bit surprising. Hook is going to miss as it's blind hook. So, laning stage, sort of 50 50, but I feel like OG will be happier with it since Navi Jr. does have some heavy investment into the early game where, where, where OG should be having better late game. Arcane Rune? Night. I'll be there for BZM, but thankfully you have yourself Seb on the Cottle, so Chakra Magic all round here. And we got a Solar Guardian now. already in 10 seconds and with the smoke, Tiny and Cottle, they want to get use of it. Whoever they find oh, they could be in danger, maybe not Pudge on the tower, he is very tanky. Uh... How They're many points of flash sheep? Oh, with the BZM for Dude. sure they have enough. Will they Adding defend the patch? No. Oh no. Pangaleer's here too. Got the juice in trouble. They need a rotation if they want to save this pudge. I don't think they're. They're okay, keeping in. Mind. PMA's coming in. Nice hook there, catching Ari. As in we come, Niku. With the onslaught, there's one. Pulverize coming off cooldown. We'll grab the Pangalier into the ground. Getting the second kill there and stopping the Starbreaker. Lovely telekinesis. They'll attempt to get more <laughs> funny hook from Cut the Juice. Bringing back the Brune over there. But they will find uh, three in return for one. I didn't see one. that coming. Did I, I didn't see that coming. I don't think OG did either. I think they would just let these two heroes die but they bring everybody to trade and they'll get as you said three for one a, a, a really good trade just this primal beast is proving to be a beast in this early game every engagement he can take he will do and also a brood rotating that was the biggest surprise for me he comes and defends this top tower and a, and a big big victory for navi jr radiance middle tower is under attack As a uh, grating healing lotus, uh, sorry, great healing lotus. It's not great. Uh, great healing lotus on the brood as well. So able to heal uh, 400 HP and obtain 400 mana. Very nice. Eleven, <laughs> 12 minutes. He's just going to try and pressure this bottom tower now because Sven has been left alone here at the moment and is starting to recover. As you can see, surpassing the pudge. Meanwhile, though, there may be some action happening middle. The invisibility oh, rune and the smoke here. Rolling Thunder coming in, got the juice. Slowed down here by the Solar Bind. He's still okay. Oh, dismember. It's cancelled there, though. The Frostbite there in return. BZM attempting to flee, but will be found first. Days, killing spree. Charge forward. Niku gets another kill. Maybe perhaps they can get a triple kill here. Niku, is he going to dive? Whisper, stolen swashbuckle. It will still not be able to kill Whisper. Yeah, they're not diving that tier 3. They're going to get themselves back. But two kills got once again here on Na'Vi Jr. And look at this. They got themselves the stacks here too, Milan. And they got the Whisper too with the Daze Swordbuckle to snipe him there. We didn't see it on the camera. But a beautiful play from this Rubik. I mean, Na'Vi Jr. 
fight it. These guys are crazy. Oh, I really wish I hadn't moved my camera away to see that there. I, I, I definitely thought that, you know, Whisper would have gone back to Fountain. But... Off. This change swash buckle. Now it does three hits instead of four. So okay, yeah. it actually does more damage than previously, but it's much more balanced with the Difu. It's right, kind of a, okay. So for a hero like, like Rubik to steal it, it's buffed. But for a Pango, it's a little bit nerfed. And now he has the Avalanche. I mean. This is a hell of a Ruby game, and Daze is performing. 4k network at minute 14, almost level 9. Swapping out the smoke will go on a mission. Where it will be, we'll see. With this avalanche, so strong. Has got the juice doing, he's trying to get himself an Agnims here. Though, Tomato does have himself some breathing room here on this bottom lane with him not being harassed currently at the moment. Echo Saber now obtained for the Sven. As what is PMA going here for that tree? Oh, this annoys me so much as Broodmothers when they can do this. How they just send out the spiders in every direction. Yeah, I, I call it map hack. You know, when I play with a Brood <laughs> guy, I'm, I'm like, do the map hack thing. You know, do the map hack thing where you send these spiders and they basically scout the whole map. It's very annoying to play against. And is Brood closing on Kanda? Because that's like insane spike in damage. Not closing, but in a minute or two should have it unless he gets ganked bottom. Or... Okay, we will see how broken this uh, this Kanda is on um, on the Brood. Because I'm excited to see it. I've I, I haven't witnessed it yet. Thankfully, I haven't had Brood in any of my games, so. I'm, I'm very happy to announce that. We'll see how this one goes. Blink Dagger now obtained on Days. I think a amazing time here on the Rubik. The richest support at the moment here with 4,300 gold. A 16 minute Blink Dagger. Well, stolen Avalanche. In return, Rolling Thunder coming in. Riddies in some trouble. Getting stunned up there by the Rolling Thunder. But the Rolling Thunder cancelled. With thanks to the use there of the Pulverize. Blade Mail utilized now. Will they find BCM? He's attempted to get up, but the stolen avalanche finds the kill. It's a one for one. Timado rotating. No BKB on Timado. Well, I mean, there's no dismember. Got the juice. He's still completely fine here. Is he going to find a hook? Hook off cooldown. Stolen avalanche there. Lift the help. Gets the hook. The oh, the Sven's dead. Daze is absolutely doing work on OG right now, this Rubik, my lord. I mean, the days and his Rubik, styling on OG, 504, Blink Dagger acquired, Low Storm Stormhammer acquired. This guy is playing a game of his life, and OG, um, they're losing to Navi Jr. right now, a very surprising, but these guys, as I said, mechanically, they're really gifted. Maybe they're lacking in experience department, but they have no fear and they're all gifted players. BZM? Oh my gosh, BKB and Blade Mail here for dead? Nitro. BZM is just scouted out and found by Pooch with the hook. As now they find more here with Daze scouting out Whisper. But will they have the TP cancel? They don't need it because the fade comes out the tips are there again days a rubik position for other than stoppable spree at 17 minutes he's just demolishing them okay the jump bottom ari toss back yeah, they, onto do. The they have more than enough very, yeah very very nice pick off there from og so at least they get themselves something here very good from ari has himself that blink dagger now so can Start to initiate here with the Avalanche and Toss. Maybe perhaps this will be a turning point here for OG. Start utilizing their Blink Dagger here. Oh, stole. Oh my god, stolen the haste! Ari doesn't get it! Oh dear me! Oh, it's found there by Riddies. He thought he had the haste through. Days Blink did. Got him up with Tarkinesis. No, uh uh! And took that right off. He's him. just everywhere. 
Like uh, he's literally <laughs> playing a game of his life. He's dominating OG, feeling good, making all the right plays. And they're gonna be chasing for the BZM. They saw him leave, and now they hear him. They hear him take this Lotus even in the fog. Oh no, BZM! And yeah, I mean, he has himself dead. rolling thunder. But the damage is there. They have the dismember ready. That's BZM dead again, Milan. And now he got himself a hammer stolen. I mean, it's just every wow. spell he steals, it's so good. We talked about it during the draft. Should they ban this Rubik or not? Yeah, now it's clear as day. That. They should have. Oh no, he's okay. Tomato. Oh, wait, me too. take a lot of Before magic damage. Charge. Wants to go on Tomato. Tomato is just decimated. Along with Seb here, two unstoppable three for Niku. They are just picking off OG here relentlessly. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Oh, they may go for days though. Slowed down there by the Celestial Hammer. They have themselves the silence. Kill. Finally, they will take down this Rubik, but got the juice. Oh, just missing the hook there on Whisper. Very close. Just short an inch, but this is a huge pickup. You know, removing the hammer from him and getting his unstoppable streak. It's really big for OG. Maybe a step into a comeback to this game because they are 6k behind at minute 20. Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Dyer's top tower is under attack. I mean, they do have themselves an Orchid pick up here on Whisper, which is quite a unique item to pick up on a Dawnbreaker. This is very situational, right? I'm, I'm, I'm not missing any strats, am I, with a an Orchid on Dawnbreaker? Uh, it is situational, but in recent history, like a lot of these strength off laners, like they just kind of like picking up a casual Orchid. Especially against the heroes that don't build BKB early, like a Pudge and uh, and the supports. So, okay. not so not so common, not so uncommon. He has himself this Agnims now and got the just Look at this, all three cores on the side of Navi Jr. Surpassing the Sven right now. Just by about 500, 600 gold, doing very well here. Ari is pinging out Na'Vi Jr. has BZM to support him, but Days coming in with the Telekinesis and Avalanche comes out there onto two and in comes the Solar Guardian, a rotation in from Tomato. They're able to find Days and Riddies. They take both of the supports down and Niku is out of there. So even with these aggressive plays, OG, they finally respond here, rotating in with many of their heroes and punish Na'Vi Ooh. Jr. for this aggression. They're gonna go for the Rosh too. I mean, I thought... Only getting two supports is not too big of a deal for Navi Jr. But if they lose the rush here, this is a cherry on top that makes this fight really worth it for OG. And they're gonna be, they're gonna be taking it pretty much for free. Nobody's heading this way. Yeah, they'll take themselves the Roshan here. Aegis will be in their hands, but they are moving down here. A Navi Jr. Do they want to fight it? Tomato's gonna TP away. Maybe they're gonna. Oh, they're gonna ambush them. Maybe perhaps. Look at this. Got the juice of Niku along with PMA2. They're on the way. Combing through the trees. They want to find something. BZM. Just able to get off the rolling. Roll stop. In return. There's the pulverize. Look and at that. Zeb and the Pangolin dead. Stolen. He has it on Ruby. Here also. This is a dead pack. They just got themselves the Aegis and. Navi Jr. just come in and go, nah, me! I'm taking this Aegis right off you. And with the Creep Wave pushing in on the bottom, they are going to pressure the tier two tower. Oh, what a play by Navi Jr., but it's a little bit of a blunder by OG not getting out there, not reading the map that without God strength, even without the Aegis, with the Aegis Navi Jr. will make aggressive move and they will defend mid and take a bottom tower and. For me, all eyes on this day's Rubik still. Now with the Rolling Thunder, Blink Dagger, Aetherlands, like he could solo the next team fight. Mm -hmm. 
They're gonna smoke. Oh. On the three heroes. I mean, they're all top here apart from BZM. He does have himself a TP. The God Strength comes out. Niku is perfectly fine, able to get away with the movement speed there. Defensive Avalanche comes into play now with the aggression, but in return, the BKB and the Pulverize coming out there on Tomato, trying to hold his ground. Here comes but in the comes Ruby. the stolen Rolling Thunder. Tomato is going to be found and taken out there by Dazus. Meanwhile, they got themselves the Dismember onto the Dawnbreaker. Whisper will fall along with Seb. They find themselves three kills. Navi Jr. are just starting to pop off now, Milan. I mean, they're just playing so fast. They take the bottom tower, but immediately they're mid, defend the mid, OG goes top, they're top, they're everywhere in advance in time, just... OG, I think they're surprised. I think they didn't expect coming into this matchup for Navi Jr. to be so strong. Like, I, I think they, they were not expecting this speed in the gameplay of Navi Jr. Well, we were usually expecting as well in the draft. We we saw this Broodmother last pick, and we were like, "Is it is this their answer? The Broodmother last pick? Are they going to rely on this? They actually don't rely on the Brood heavily. They all exactly. work together as a team, and th that is the really surprising part here that they've been able to come out on top. Navi Junior, pinging uh, which out the bottom. Yeah, I know they may they may be able to again. The blink dagger ready on days does not go for it though. BZM has the haste rune. He will get out of there. Radiance middle tower is under attack. As you said, you said it very nicely. It's it's you cannot say the broodmother last pick got them. As you say, every single guy on the side of Navi Jr. is playing great. Oh, Wait, hook? Got the juice? That's a blink. Oh, he may, I mean, he misses the hook, but goes <laughs> in with the blink of the dismember. He's trying to practice his hoop training. Gets a mega it almost felt like he's playing, but he's peeping top. They want more. He he's Link gonna be spotted cooldown. on this sword. Yeah, he'll just kill the wave here. Still, nothing comes for free for OG. Oh, Navi Junior is defending eight. everything. Oh, Blink! Oh my gosh, he made Tomato pass God Strength! Oh my gosh! Days Rubik, uh, Grandmaster. Check, check in PC. That, that, <laughs> that's my call. Check in PC. What was that blink? No vision, no anything. You just bam, I'm out. Nice God swing, bro. I'm not sure if they're even aware, to be honest. But. No, I don't think so. Tomato just brushed. Not Tomato, sorry. Days probably just brushed it off. He's like, yeah, it's, it's completely normal. You know, with the plays that is being performed by this Rubik. He, he probably is, has it, he just pushed it off. It really is a hell of a performance. BKB, Sanj on the Broodmother. And we were a little bit worried how they're gonna scale into the late game, but with all the right yeah. items they're buying on Navi Jr., they, they're they gonna scale incredibly well. Like, so they got themselves OG... the on uh, Primal. Oh, wait, they're gonna meet BZM. Find BZM. 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 Charging forward, there's the Telekinesis as well. The Pulverize comes out in return. They have themselves enough nuke damage. Yes, they do. With that card to spawn Spinalings. You told me about that, Milan, and it's working out pretty nice. Big nuke damage. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Well, there we have it. Taking down BZM once again. And just dominating all this side of OG's map. With the brood here too, and the spiders. Tomato's trying to go a uh, a daedless here. We got ourselves a Lotus Orb two on Seb, which is going to help for some of the 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 single target spells coming out here from Navi Junior, like the Pulverize and the Dismember and any dispels yeah. that we can get up to. It's it's a it's a hell of a Lotus game, right? Is basically gonna stop all these ultimates as you said, but only on one person. Four man smoke from OG. They're tired of Navi Jr. jumping them every time. They wanna get initiation of their own. Oh, but Punch has the high ground and he broke the smoke and blinked away. Tomato activates what, the God what, Strength, what? thinking that they're up here. But he has blink ready. Navi though. Jr. They're gonna get ready. 
ready to turn it back around here. There's the telekinesis play. The BKB will be activated here. Daze is going to fall, though, but in return to Mardo will. I mean, it's support for a carry. I think Na'Vi and Junior will accept that as they find themselves the off lane there, too. Double kill for PMA as they're on the pressure now to just go and find more. Uh, we questioned if it's a good brood game. And PMA on his brood just man fighted the Sven with God Strength, BKB, and Diddles. So I, I, I'll get my answer there. It's a good brood game. <laughs> uh, yeah. 6,000 damage with his brood money. I mean, Ari is cutting wave though. Tiny, so. Or at least delay the creeps from coming in on middle, but Seb, just able to TP away there behind the trees. BZM is uh, rotated bottom here too, so they won't find anything top other than a tier 2 tower if they want to take it. You don't have a Rubik here. You have to be a little bit careful. Of course, OG doesn't know. But if Rubik shows bottom... He might try to attack 5 for BKB next on the menu for days. A 30 minute BKB on Rubik? Hell yeah! You see that every day, don't you? Wait, what? Oh! <laughs> okay, Days is going a BKB, yeah. Very surprising. He's around about 800 Navi gold Junior. away from a BKB. They don't find anything, at least not for now. Are they smelling the tomato or what? No, he's just cutting the way. I was like, yeah, there's no way they know. Now BKB on Pudge. Last fight, they were focusing him and there was a chance of killing him, but now with the BKB and basically he, 40 armor. He, no, no, he has cracky coat as well, so, so it's even an more. extra 12 armor. Yeah. How the heck did you kill this Pudge? <laughs> Tomato, even though he has a he has a dateless, I don't think you can kill him. The, that that's the twist. You don't. Uh, I mean, who'd you go on here as Sven though? Like, what's your touch? You can't kill the Pudge. Um, the, you've got a blade mail on the primal. Did you just go for the supports in the back lines here as Sven? Ah, uh, supports. Maybe a primal, pre blade mail. Uproar, may, maybe a Brood while he's chain locked, because Brood has only 18 armor, though. I say only, it's not a little, but if Sven gets a chain locked down to him with some Pango, like he, he can burst through him. We've got a Scaddy on the Brood Mother now as well, so if Tomato is planning on going to Satanic, there's going to be no heals here, and the heals won't work as well when, um, when Seb or Whisper. I mean, with oh, that, yes, they found themselves BZM. He, he does have himself the Lincolns, yeah, so he's able to get away there with the Rolling Thunder. My lord, an Eye of Skadi on this PMA now, on this Brood. 3,800 HP on the Brood. 3,700 HP on the Pudge. 3,300 HP on the Primal Beast. A BKB. That's a lot of oh, no, he, doesn't, he, doesn't. He, he doesn't go the BKB Milan on um, on Rubik. He he picks up a Yule Scepter instead. He's going a Windwaker. I like that. The Windwaker is much more. I mean, it, it's more expensive item, but it's easier to use than a BKB. Even if you have a BKB, if Sven gets to hit you twice, he'll probably kill you. Yeah, so and it, it's beneficial much as well more to save the item. team as well. Exactly. Whisper, we didn't really talk about his item progression, BKB, Orchid, and Pipe. Uh, like a really utility build. He just buffs his teammates, he doesn't really do anything on his own. Top tower is under attack. I mean, Roshan's on now though. Yeah, Should so be it'll be Na'Vi Jr. this time. Yegis on who though? Pudge, um... let's get a slot. I would say Pudge, right? Yeah, 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 no. He can, he can move his... Uh... Unless they want to give it to or Niku. Or PMA. I think PMA or got the juice, because PMA might be the one hitting high ground tower. Yeah, and 
yeah, they'll give it to him. I think that's the logic behind it. Uh, he's yeah. gonna be the one more in front. And Pudge is, let's be honest, this Pudge with 50 armor, 4000 HP, flash heap active, like, it's very unlikely he's gonna die. Yeah, oh, this uh, yeah I see what you mean. Force? TP? Oh, TP? Do they have anything? Mm. Ooh, that the was very close. Cool. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Do they, do they stay? Of course they see BZM. Do they want to chase them? They're four-man smoke. Do they want to just brute force Dyer's bottom? Or do they want to chase them? This Navi lineup has a lot of cash, but OG is not so easy to catch. Oh, she's facing oh, Avari. Oh, jumping in with the pulverize. And the dismember there. Ari dead. Nice observer ward there from Riddies, granting that vision. As now the creep wave should be pushing in bottom, though OG are pressuring top here too. So either Navi Jr. are going to commit a TP here, or they are going to pressure bottom here as well and possibly trade it out. They will force out a glyph. I mean, I, I, I think their siege potential on Navi Jr. is a lot better here, because look at this tier 3 tower. It is falling very quickly here. They will commit their own glyph. And Whisper, what's he going to do here? Is he going to decide to leave or is he still going to attempt to rat? Attempt to rat for the time being. Oh, he'll back himself off. They'll just get he didn't themselves use this second glyph. Correct. He's just dead. Oh, he's back. He's pushing more. They're, they're just ignoring Whisper, though. They don't care. They're going for more. Trying to get this second tier 3 tower. Oh, out comes the avalanche and the toss. Tossing back into the tier oh, 4. The PNA healing up. There's the hook onto Tomato. The, oh, the Brood is still alive. Gets away with the Rolling Thunder coming into play. The Brood close to death here will finally fall meanwhile though the pulverize coming out there onto the pangolier bzm in trouble taken out pangolier down with no buyback available pma has come back alive Pause but back. they stole the toss tossing back ari though they will find the kill onto the rubik three remain here on narvi jr they come forward here with the god strength finding the kill there onto niku triple kill for whisper could it be an ultra kill as og attempt to turn this around here got the juice coming out here with the dismember but canceling it there with the toss got the juice still surviving through it but he will find be found here with the avalanche from Ari. PMA, the only one surviving, will TP here within the trees. He will get out. Lovely turnaround here from OG. Big fight coming out for OG, but Days may be feeling himself a bit too much there. You know, having this big performance against OG, jumping in, tossing out Ari, basically killing himself there. Ah, uh, Navi Jr. This is not by any means a game over, but they make a big, big throw and OG... They basically sell a little bit, but and OG is there to buy. OG is not giving up on this game anytime soon. Do you know how much of a gold increase that was for OG? Probably like seven to 8,000. I don't know exactly. Satanic soon here for... Uh, tomorrow. Yeah, yeah he's around 10,000 gold. Networks thing in onto the wow. side of OG, almost a full comeback network wise. Now eight hundred gold for Pudge, nine hundred gold for the Primal Beast. Tier four items though. Aviana's feather for the Sven. They do get themselves a scan here on Na'Vi Jr. Scouting out that Whisper is hanging around here. Skull Basher on the Dawnbreaker. Silk Grass and Basher with an Orchid BKB and a Pipe. Very, uh, a mix of utility and core here on, on Whisper. Smoke play though from Na'Vi Jr. Attempting to try and find something more. Maybe perhaps they can catch uh, Seb here if he leaves the base. Or maybe even Whisper. Niku showing himself. 
Oh, nice catch here. Oh, not able to get off the dismember there, though. Got the juice. Activating the BKB there. Now has to flee. A little bit of a misplay there from Na'Vi Jr. There's Ari coming forward. The Avalanche and Doss. Uh, Simado gets the kill there onto Riddies. In return, though, in comes the Onslaught there. They'll find the Tiny there in return. But the God Strength is doing a lot of damage there to Niku. Just able to get away. The Brood has been stunned up here. Can they find the kill? Onto the Brood Mother. Yes, they can. Two down. Three down on Na'Vi Jr. As Days, he's going to TP away. And Niku will get back. Now OG are starting to come back into this game now. And give Na'Vi Jr. I mean, a taste of their own medicine. One fight lost at the high ground is bearable. But the second one is already a full comeback from OG. Timado Sven just laying out the damage. Like if you go into fight recap. He did insane amount of damage. Six and a half thousand damage in that fight. Just demolishing Navi Jr. lap at 50 seconds of Brood and Pudge. This is one drag down for sure. Maybe even a second lane. They do have themselves the Glyph. That is available, but it looks like they'll just let themselves take this middle set of racks. Not, not a problem, I mean... Well, meanwhile, Niku... Oh, this is pretty aggressive. I mean, that's a lot of damage there to the Sven. The freezing field, meanwhile, with the Pulverize coming out there, and the Storm Hammer too. That might actually be able to find Tomato here, as there are only three. Never mind, they take down the Crystal Maiden. Very nice attempt there, but nonetheless will not get the kill. Tomato is out of here. Who yuled the Sven? Somebody uh, yield the Sven. It, it must be Rubik. He's the only one having the yield. Did that save him? Yeah, I mean, it, well, yeah, it was Days, yeah. The only one with a, a yield hit. A big misplay by the Rubik. I, I, maybe the pressure is coming to this Navi Jr. run-up since... They are a very inexperienced team and they had OG on the ropes. Ten minutes ago now, with these big throws, maybe... It's in their head. What did we do? We had this game. A little bit of a misplay there. Now Vin Waker finished up on the days. That will help in a fight with will, whoever yeah. is getting focused by the Sven. And the rattle cage right after the whatever the tier three item for armor is called. That was the, the cracky coat. And now the rattle cage. I mean, this this. He has 61 armor. Holy shit. That's a lot of armor. But still, it didn't save him from Sven last fight. It didn't. I think that was the cleave damage there, too. It really helped. OG smoked. They want to get the initiation. Oh, they feel like. Taking the lead. Found the Crystal Maiden. Rolling Thunder coming in. They will get the Crystal Maiden there. God Strength has been utilized. Stunning up. Got the juice here. He's still okay. Activates the BKB. Link Dagger coming off cooldown in one more second. He will not decide to blink and hook. They will just get the Crystal Maiden here on OG. Roshan is back in 25 seconds too. So we could see a fight around the Roshan pit. Maybe perhaps they might Do they want to use... <laughs> they have... Around about 45, 50 seconds of the downtime on the God Strength to try and use this timing to take a fight. It's not easy, but it's one of the things they can they can try to do on Navi Jr. Because Dimada is kind of out carrying this game, you know. He he is coming to this territory where he is demolishing everybody and fighting when he doesn't have a God Strength is maybe a best choice they can do. Oh, they've just pinged out Roshan. Oh, Na'Vi Jr. aware. They're grouped up. They're going to smoke in here. Yeah, Can they five, get five hit in time? It's I mean, very it's close. I mean, it might be the same situation as what happened on the first Roshan. Okay, they'll get themselves the Aegis. It looks like they're going to fully commit here, Milan. They're going to try and ambush him once again. 
Oh, they smoke up themselves, OG. They learned from their previous mistakes. The smoke's gonna break there onto Whisper. Here we come. Rolling Thunder coming in. Niku not able to actually grab anyone there with the pulverize as of yet. Charging forward, but being brought back there by the harpoon of Sven. A Seb in the back lines here, but they've got themselves the Abyssal Blade there onto PMA, but the hook coming out, bringing back the Sven. As Niku getting back, he's still alive here. They commit the dismember there onto BZM. They will lose PMA, but in return, they will take down the Pangolier. Jumps forward, Ari there, with the Amazon toss, BKB coming out in there. In time, TP's out. The Pudge is fine. And a buyback here from BZM. So they will just lose the Brood and the Crystal Maiden. PMA down for 70. But an opening now for them to possibly get themselves more of Na'Vi Jr.'s base. Yeah, no buyback on the PMA. They can't know, but they will definitely pull to see what's up. And Ari is already looking for the tossbacks on this base. Yeah, they're going to head themselves top here. God strength on cooldown for 15 more seconds. This is definitely a second lane gone. They can try whatever the hell they want. But it's gone tier 2 tower. Bottom will save them from the mega creeps. Now refresher level 25 on this pango. He has rolling thunders for days. So he's gone the uh, minus 16 seconds rolling th thunder cooldown. PMA back alive now. Buyback wise, just in not not enough gold. Here at the moment, only three buybacks available on the side of Navi Jr. Question is, will they go for a fight outside their base again? Is there any 25 talents that could potentially turn this around, do you feel, on Na'Vi Jr.? I'm just looking at Got the Juice. Either the uh, the 1.5 times Flesh Heap stack strength and damage block bonus, which could be nice against the Sven, or the Dismember damage and heal, if he's able to get it off. I mean, the biggest one is the base attack speed on the Broodmother. Low 25. That's the one that can turn the ties, but he's pretty far away from it. If they don't win any of the next fights, he's not gonna get it. And Sven, Timado with the Aegis, wants to go for the high ground here. This is a little bit dangerous. But some buybacks are ready. It is. Got the juice ready with a hook. Is he committing it? He's just been revealed there by the Celestial Hammer. Tries to get himself a hook. Oh, he's got themselves Ari! Ari in trouble, but the God Strength coming out along with the Solar Guardian too. Ari will attempt to buy back and come to the fight here. PMA slowly getting away. Slowed down there by the Solar Bind. The Bash is there too. PMA still living through it, but an avalanche coming back from all the other people. He's just got the Fusion Print. He's a baby crab. Crab will miss as well. He's just been used up there, but finally will be found. Buy back from all three of them. Attempting to come back to fight. He's got the South of this member there. Onto BCM. BCM is going to try and smash the ball will be found, but the cleave damage is absolutely huge coming out from Tomodo there! As they found themselves for They're all so dead. much damage from the Sven! What was the fight recap there? 10,000 damage on the Sven! GG will be called and game one will go to OG here, who come back from a... It, it looked to be a lost game, but... Indeed, they're able to turn it around there within the next few team fights. And